Now, as I pointed out earlier, this integral can be done by substitution. So I just want to run through that with you. Now by substitution, you need to know this particular formula. That is, the integral of some function of x with respect to x is equal to the integral of f of x as long as you multiply it by dx by du and integrate with respect to u. It's as if these two du's cancel. So, if you're doing substitution then, what would the substitution be? Well, it would be let u equal the 2x plus 1 here. So we just do that in a margin here. We'll say let u equal 2x plus 1. So we need to find dx by du, but what we can do is differentiate this and get du dx. So du dx would equal 2. We want dx du, so we can invert this. We can say that therefore dx du would be equal to 1 over 2, a half. So substituting back into this integral, we have the integral then of f of x. Remember f of x was 1 over 2x plus 1 all squared. So pop that in there, 1 over 2x plus 1 all squared. In place of dx, we now have dx du, and dx du is a half, so put a half there, and then we have the du on the end. Now I need to change this all into the variable u and tidy it up at the same time, and I can see that I might as well pull the half out the front of the integral, because it's a constant. Then we have 1 over u squared because u is the 2x plus 1 so we have 1 over u squared and we have the du. Now to integrate 1 over u squared all I would need to do is rewrite this as u to the power minus 2 du. So in the usual way to integrate u to the minus 2 then add 1 to the power so that's u to the minus 1 and divide by the new power, negative 1. Now because I haven't got limits here, we would normally have plus c. Okay, so we'll just put the plus c there. Tidying this up, we now have minus a half, and u to the minus 1 is 1 over u, so that'd be minus 1 over 2u, and then plus the c. And we know that u is the 2x plus 1, so we just simply substitute it in and finally that gives us minus 1 over 2, lots of 2x plus 1, okay, plus the constant of integration c. Remember though, because we had the limits a and b in the original question, the c would not be here. All right, that brings us to the end of this uh, short video then on an alternative way rather than recognition of integrating this function of x with respect to x by using the substitution method.